Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Tatum here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Uh, we are here today at the Goodwill. This one is the one in Anaheim. There's a couple locations here. This is the one off of Euclid. If you guys want to come check it out, I'm going to go to the store. I'll show you guys what they have. But if you guys are thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor videos, live sales, don't forget to join the family. Hit that little subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you're notified when new videos do go up. I'd be on Instagram. It's Tatum. Just like it's spelled here. Check out the shop at Tatum.com to see what I have for sale for my thrifting adventures and the live sales are every Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They're like super fun, late night, QVC-esque. We hang out, we party, it's a blast. So consider joining us one of these evenings. But without further ado, let's head into the store and go check it out. The store, let's go inside and check it out. Let's see if there's any cool bags. That's interesting. This is marked by Mark Jacobs. Oh, it is. Hmm, it's not in the best condition, but it's not in the worst. How much is it? Also spotted this B. Mikowski. It's kind of faded though, but this one's 10 bucks. And here is the other side. Betsy Johnson. Nine West. Vintage looking Dooney needs a lot of work. This one's $7.99. Hey look, it comes with a certificate of authenticity as well. Are your stores doing that too? A lot of stores here in um, at least Orange County are doing the certificates of authenticity to go with the bags. Adrian here. I just wanted to hop on really quick and let you guys know that Depop is actually offering free shipping on all orders $40 or more within the US. So if you see anything in there that you like in the shop, put it in your cart now. I'm having a sale too, so I just discounted everything. Everything's already pre-discounted. They actually also added this new feature where I can discount things to like the percentage that I want. And like some things are 50% off, some things are 30, some things are 20. So go check it out great deals i'm listing a ton of new stuff tonight so by the time you see this there's gonna be a ton of new stuff in the shop so go check it out it's for the next three days so to, um, until october 5th to october 7 free shipping on orders 40 dollars or more in the depop shop link is down below in the description box anything interesting inside here here's the rest of the store Let's go and see if we can find anything cool in like the home decor section. You guys already know it's my favorite section in the store. Oh, what is this? It's like a decorative object. I like to start in the back and work my way to the front, so let's start back here. Oh my gosh, meow. How cute. Look at this, this is Waterford, $2.99. Hot diggity dog. What is this thing? It's like a piece of wood, something or other, but I don't know what it is for. Check out the backpacks. Oh, yeah. Dora and Heim Elementary School District. Pineapple Jans Port. Oh, this one says Hello Weekend. Oh, it's full of like stains on it though. Oh, there's this anchor one. It's kind of funnish. Um, oh, look at this little Kipling backpack. This is kind of cute actually. Should we get this? Oh, yeah, that like it's adorable. I think we do need to get it. It's only $4.99, you guys. I think we will. Um, I think my aunt said she wanted a Kipling bag. So maybe she'll like this little backpack. It's kind of cute. GB. This one kind of looks like a Rebecca Minkoff, but it's not. Let's look at the mugs. Little muggy mugs. Anything exciting? I put up a poll yesterday asking if anyone's ever found like Hermes, like cups or mugs or plates or anything and an astounding 10% of you guys did So that means like 1 out of 10 of you guys have found Hermes Which is crazy, so I'm manifesting some Hermes plates <laughs> Look, this is a tray from Home Goods. It's blue like bamboo 
It's mirrored. Okay, let's look at the plates. Anything gorgeous. Oh, this is pretty. My inner grandma really likes this plate. Look at that. That is pretty. Ooh. Tag. I don't like this like little tray serving thing. Matte Ceramica. It kind of reminds me of like Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray kind of did something in that silhouette. Oh, what is this? I always hope to find one of those like Tiffany's um, cigarette tray or whatever those things are called. I want to put like an air plant in it because like no one smokes in our house or do I know really anyone that smokes? But I just want to put an air plant in it. Ooh, green M&M plate. Another one that my inner grandma loves. Gorgeous. Oh, I hope this is like Tiffany's or something amazing. You guys, it is Tiffany's. You can see it inside. Tiffany and Co. How did I? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I was literally just looking at this like exact bowl earlier online. How do we manifest? This is so crazy. Look, look, watch. I swear, it's like, oh, is it still on my phone? Oh no, I was looking at Mikasa earlier. But look, if I go back, Tiffany, and then this is the same bowl. This Tiffany, you know, this is, wait, this it? No, it's not. It was very close to it. Yeah, it was this one, see? Oh my gosh, this is so crazy, you guys, how did this happen? Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Okay, so this, when I found these like this, I was just looking at the crystal, like the one at the bottom, which was Tiffany's. I looked at this round one up here, this round base thing, and it's a Waterford. It's crazy. I'm gonna turn this sideways so I can show you, because I can't hold it and hold the camera at the same time. You guys see that? That is another Waterford vase. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're hitting, we're hitting all the crystal. We're finding it. This little lemon cookie jar is so cute. It's missing the top, but this would be a really cute planter. Look, okay, is this wheel broken? Adorbs. They have so many pretty crystal things. Like, this is so gorgeous. I don't know um, what they are, because they don't have any markings on them. So I'm like, no, I'm not gonna get them, because I gotta be, I gotta be good about what I get because I can't like buy everything that I think is cute because then we're gonna be in a heap of trouble because I mean my whole house is gonna be covered in crystal. Um, but I'm looking through the stuff. I'm also collecting stuff from my aunt too, so it's not just all for me. Uh, I wanna start off like she has a little collection going, but she didn't know that you can find all these crazy things at the thrift. And I was like, yeah, you totally can. <gasps> I think I'm crying. This is so pretty. There's only four, but like, should I buy this? I'm gonna see if I can find out where they're from. Yes. Also, I think these might be from Mikasa. They are, they're Mikasa. But there's only three. Should I get them? <sighs> so many things. Okay, maybe we're not gonna get these because there's only three. But I think I want these. I found them, you guys. They're Lux Habitat Iridescent Geometric Wine Glasses. I think it's $40 for a set of two. Oh, should I get them? I don't really need them, but they're still gosh darn pretty. I'm gonna think about them. They're $2.99 each. Let's just look around and see if we can find anything else. Oh no, I found more Mikasa. These are red. Perfect for Christmas. <sighs> There's so many good things today at the store, you guys. Like, honestly, I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh, look at these. These are also Mikasa. <gasps> 99 cents. Oh. And there's only three of them. Just like how there's only three of the other ones. Those are like the balloon ones. These are just the regular. Okay, I don't need them. I don't need them. But I do need the Airdest ones. <laughs> I think. I feel like I definitely need the iridescent ones. They're so pretty. Iridescent. Wait, what is this? This is cool. Uh, made in Romania. Hand blown. Look at the glass with the gold. That's kind of pretty. Okay, what's going to get me in trouble on this side? So much crystal to look at. You guys already know how much I love crystal. 
okay, so we are back at the house, and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today while we went out thrifting. So in this video, I just brought you to one Goodwill store, but I'm also showing you guys some stuff that I got from another store, which I didn't film in, unfortunately, because it's a long story, <laughs> but long story short... Um, I couldn't film in the store that I went into, um, but I did take photos and videos on my phone. So I will insert those if I remember when I show you guys the items. But uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them in my stories because I do post those in my stories or um, in a reel or something on there. So um, check me out on Instagram as well. It's super duper fun over there. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I got because I got some really awesome stuff. So I can't like stop messing with my hair. I haven't like actually blow dried it straight in a long time and it just like feels so nice. <laughs> like I mean like I don't know. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. Okay. Um I got okay, so let me show you guys what I got at what is it called? I don't know, I bit my tongue. At the Goodwill. So first things first is I got this Kipling backpack. It's really, really cute. I got this for my aunt. Um, she was asking for like a Kipling kind of bag and I was like, okay, like this is really cute. It's a mini backpack. So she can wear it as a mini backpack or she can wear it as a crossbody bag. It's kind of like the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs bag and it's in this metallic gold fabric. So it's really, really nice and lightweight. And Kipling bags are always fantastic. There's a million compartments. This was $4.99. So what a steal. I know my aunt loves Kipling, so I was like, of course, I will look for a Kipling bag for you. So I found one, and I'm really excited about it. I hope she likes it. Um, so, oh, and, so, Auntie, if you're watching, this is for you. Okay, um, then... Ah, uh, sorry, all my stuff is, like, wrapped up still inside of other stuff. Okay, um, so I, I might as well show you another bag, too. Um, this is the Mark by Mark Jacobs, uh, bucket bag, a drawstring bag that we saw earlier. It's, is in a beautiful, like, kind of like a peacock green color with, um, gold hardware. It's beautiful. It just needs a little bit of cleaning up. It just needs a little bit of TLC, and I think we can get this looking beautiful again. Um... I love a good bucket bag, so you guys already know that I had to get this. And it was only $9.99, um, which, or no, $7.99. It was only $7.99, which is such a deal, because at the Goodwills, usually price up Mark Jacobs bags so much, and I'm very thankful to have gotten this one at a deal. So, yay, thank you, Goodwill, for not pricing it too intensely. Um, then... I got a couple, uh, I think it's a Waterford pieces. So I got this little, um, vase. I think it's so, so cute. I like to use these for, like, propagation or just as, like, tiny little vases. Like, if I have, um, some of our rose bushes, like, they don't grow flowers at the same time and, or, like, they don't grow that many flowers. So if you have, like, a single, this would be, like, really cute for that. If you have, like, a two or three little bunches, you can put them in here. And it's really pretty and shiny and shimmery and this was only two dollars and 99 cents for this beautiful little waterford piece or you can just leave it by itself like this it's really nice um you might be able to put like a flameless candle thing inside of here maybe if it fits inside i don't know so i got that then i got another um waterford piece this one is just a small vase really pretty this one was only three dollars and 99 cents so I got this guy. I thought this was really pretty. Uh, I think I might give these Waterford pieces to my aunt as well. I've been collecting. I've been telling you guys about this for so long. But I, she's going to have such a huge collection of like Waterford stuff. Because she loves Waterford crystal. And um, I have a good amount of it like saved up for her. So the next time I see her I'm going to give her like a box full of crystal. And it's going to be amazing. So I'm really excited to do that for her. She loves Waterford. She loves the idea of thrifting, but she doesn't have enough time to go. So I'm essentially thrifting for her. So I'm very excited to give these to her. I think she's really going to like them. So I got that. And then I got uh, one more um, Waterford piece. Is it Waterford? Oh yeah, Waterford. So it's right here. Sometimes you gotta look around because it's not always on the bottom. Sometimes it's like on the edge of the bottom or something. But I have this beautiful round little vase thing. It kind of looks like a pumpkin. It's cute. You can also put like a candle thing inside of here as well. But 
crystal, really, really nice. And this one was only $3.99, so I had to pick this up as well. So now we have um, two of these guys. I love, like, our little round pumpkin motif. I love, love, love fall and Halloween. So these are, like, perfect. They're so cute. I might even use these until I give them to her. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to see her next. So I might actually use these for um, some decor pieces before I um, give them to her. And this is the last home um, decor piece that... I got, um, and it is this beautiful crystal bowl, and this is actually a Tiffany and Co. crystal piece. It is beautiful. Um, this was only two dollars and ninety nine cents. The crazy thing is, like, they almost like wrote over. They actually like not wrote over, but they um. They put the sticker over the Tiffany and Co. part, and you have to read it from the inside. So I don't know if it's gonna show up for you guys. Can you guys see it? If not, like I'm gonna try and like include a photo. But um, yeah, so exciting. I found I thought I found like um, it actually kind of matches this. So I actually found another Tiffany's piece. I actually found a couple today, but these look very similar. Like, next to each other, they look like almost the same collection, but then you look... I hope you're okay. They're okay. If you look at the tops, um, this, the vase and the, this one, it has little hearts. Um, this one is just, like, regular, so. But I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my gosh. Tiffany and Co. And I've been, like, kind of talking about it for, like, a few weeks. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I find something Tiffany's. I've been, like, hoping, wishing, praying. And I don't know, today was just, like, my lucky day. I don't know what it was. Today was, like, one of my best thrift days yet. And it all happened because I was, um, did I tell you guys already? Anyway, uh, I was kind of, um... I promised myself that if something happened, then I was going to do something, and then that thing happened, and I was going to do it, and I did it, and I'm excited about it, and, like, great things happened. So, yeah, that's... I'm going to link that video when I actually tell the story right there, if you guys want to check that out. I know it's, like, cryptic, but, like, I don't want to tell the story, like, 8 million times. Um, but this is the reason I found these things, and then these also next two items that I'm going to show you guys. Um, again, I didn't film in the stores, unfortunately, when I found these, because, um, the stores don't allow filming, so I didn't even bring my camera, but I did bring my phone. So I don't even think I filmed these on my phone, because they were behind the register, and I always feel awkward filming things, even if it's just on a phone at the register. But, okay, let me show you guys anyway. Um, first things first, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not because it's so cute but it's a Fendi little wallet so this is an accordion wallet and this is like one of those studs that they have that they use like on their bags and on their bag straps I think it's super duper cute it does have some wear on it but like I'm not pressed about it I feel like that's totally fine but here is the interior looks like that it's an accordion style um, the Fendi is rubbing off just a little bit right there, but it also says Fendi right there, the little thing. But I mean, it's bound to rub off because it's right where the hardware is. So you're always like rubbing against it when you're opening it. So it just makes sense that that would happen. But, um, this was such a cool piece. Um, here is the interior. There's like a little Fendi right there. There's a little tag. And then it has the... Uh, serial number right there on the front. So I got this one for about $50 and This was a very exciting little piece right there Ah, so pretty. Okay, and then the next thing I found uh, This is actually the second time that I got this piece, but this one is in excellence condition um, it is the Chanel travel line a wallet on a chain um it's in this nylon fabric and it has like it has like little squares and it has a chanel logo built into the fabric it has the black on black chain with leather going through there's a back zipper pocket right here and then the bag opens like this Here's the interior. It comes with the uh, Chanel authentication card. 
right there. And it also does have a certificate of authenticity as well from Entropy. Um, the only thing, like, the only flaw that the bag has is that it's missing the little leather or the little pull that's on this um on the zipper pull it still has the little ring and the zip like the thing opens and closes perfectly i'm just going to attach like a little something to this to make it easier to open and close but the, it still zips um, perfectly it has a pocket inside the top flap there's a pocket right here there's a zipper pocket and then behind the zipper pocket is another pocket so there's lots of compartments and this is nice and roomy it fits your phone inside perfectly Here's my phone, fits right inside of there really nicely with room to spare. Um, I don't know, I might keep this one, I might sell it. Uh, I kind of like it, but I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> It's such a cool piece, though. This one was a little bit pricey, though. I think it was, like, around $400. Um, but it's in such good condition. And the travel line stuff is really sought after and really popular. And the wallet on a chain is so cute. And it's such a timeless and fantastic piece to use. And it's so easy to use as well. And I just love um, the black on black aspect of it it's like kind of like incognito and then you see it from like certain angles and like the cc's pop up and it's really cool so i don't know i really really like this bag it's beautiful and that is it for today oh my gosh like it's such like tiffany's chanel Fendi, like, I don't know, like, every video that I filmed today, it's, like, all been, like, luxury items in the halls. Like, I found Tiffany's in almost every store that I went to. I think I did find a Tiffany piece in every Goodwill that I went to, except for one. Yeah, I found Tiffany's in, like, in every, in four out of three thrift or three out of four thrift stores that I went to today, I found a Tiffany and Co. piece. And, like, the designer stuff was so crazy. So, I don't know. It was awesome. It's an awesome thrifting day. Um, I'm going to link those videos if they've gone up already when this video goes up. But, otherwise, just don't, like, check out the vi the videos for the next week. Or the upcoming days after this one. And those videos will go up. Because I do those videos every single day. And I usually post them, like, in order of, like, when I filmed. So, uh, you'll see those very soon if, if you haven't already seen them. Um... What else am I going to tell you guys? Oh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. That always helps the algorithm immensely. Um, don't forget to um, tune in for Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, our lives are at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There's so much fun, and I get to chat with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Well, not one-on-one, -on -one, but, like, in real time. You guys can ask me questions, and uh, we share our thrift finds and um, all that stuff with each other. And it's so, so much fun. Um, and also... Comment down below. Let me know what your latest thrift find was. What did you guys find recently at the thrift? I want to know. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one tomorrow, bright and early at 7. Alright, bye! <laughs>